<laughs> I think my fingers clicking. Okay, so this is what the final product looks like. So freaking cute. <laughs> Good morning, Glam Squad, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie, and I own Glam Event Rental down here in Dallas, Texas, and this is my vlog. So, right now I'm sitting in the parking lot of Kroger. I'm about to go in here and do some grocery shopping really quick. I'm trying to get back to the house. I just got done dropping the kids off at school this morning, and thank God my husband is home. I didn't vlog last week, so y'all don't even know. Child, my husband had went out of town for a funeral, his grandma's funeral. So I was by myself with these kids for five days. Five days that he was gone. And I was by myself with these kids. Let me tell y'all, I just have to give it up for the single mothers out there. Like, because I don't see how y'all do it. Like, I literally don't see how y'all do it. Like, how do you manage how do you go grocery shopping? How do you like run errands? And you have three kids, especially if one of your kids is a baby. Like, oh my God. When I tell you, I cannot wait for him to come back. <laughs> and then like, I didn't realize how much me and him depend on each other either. Because like, the trash didn't go out. The trash got picked up yesterday. I didn't think about that. Like, I don't deal with the trash. I literally did not even think about it until this morning like i probably should have took the trash to the curb yesterday so they can get, so i even seen the trash man i even seen the the um the garbage truck drive down my block still did not cross my mind <laughs> when i tell you i haven't checked my mailbox in five days <laughs> because i just don't think about this stuff like this is stuff that he does the i had to put gas in my car the only reason why i even thought about putting gas in the car is because the light came on <laughs> like i don't deal with the cars i don't deal with the trash i don't like none of it none of it like i will check the mailbox from time to time but he usually checks the mailbox it's not something that i usually do so i just didn't think about it anyway I'm glad he's home <laughs> but I just had to say like sing not just the single mothers let me not be like gender specific because there's tons of single dads out there that's killing it that's doing it by themselves. so and my dad is one of them my dad is raising my little brother by himself so I'm not just trying to like you know X the dudes out because it's some dudes doing their thing too yeah, you typically hear about single mothers, so that's why that came to my mind first. But single parents, period. Single parents. Like, let me give y'all y'all flowers. Because I don't... I did it for five days, and I'm wiped out. Like, wiped out completely. I also was trying to, like, get the house together or whatever. Trying... I called myself getting the house together before my husband came home. It did not happen. I did at least get the downstairs clean, and I got all the laundry, the laundry done. But, um, when I tell you... That laundry took me out. Like, we probably had a whole month worth of laundry to do. Because that's the other thing. That's something that he does. He does the laundry. So... <laughs> oh, my God. Like, it, it was just... I did not realize how much I depend on him. I know he depends on me for a lot of stuff, too. Because I do a lot of stuff. But, I mean... Child, I'm just welcome home, babe. I'm glad you back home now. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sitting in the parking lot of Kroger right now. I'm about to go in here and get some shopping done. I just need to pick up a couple of things for like two different meals. I want to do a seafood boil. Y'all seen in the last vlog, I did a sea. We did a seafood boil at my sister's house, and I don't know why. I just now I need seafood in. So I'm about to go in here to get the stuff for the seafood boil. And then I also seen this recipe for um, some chicken tacos on Facebook. And today's Tuesday. So hello Taco Tuesday. We about to do some chicken tacos tonight. So I'm going to go in here and get that stuff. The uh, the recipe that like the way she cooks hers. Like I'll, I'll probably insert some clips on like how she did hers. In case you guys want to follow her recipe. But she boiled her chicken. And 
I don't want to boil my chicken like they just don't sit right with me so I'm gonna do my chicken in the crock pot instead of boiling it um so I gotta get this stuff early like as early as possible so that I can put it in the crock pot so that it can cook all day so that it'll be ready tonight when it's time to have dinner so I'm gonna run in here do that and then I'm gonna go over to Starbucks and go get something to eat for right now because when I get back to the house the plan is me and my husband are going to get the upstairs clean because like I told you guys I did the downstairs I just didn't get to do the upstairs how I want to and then um, the baby has a doctor's appointment today at 1 o'clock. So I'm going to call her doctor's office to see if I can reschedule her appointment for tomorrow. Because originally, I thought that my husband had to work today. But then when I found out he was off, I'm like, oh, okay. So let's see if we can, you know, get, like, tag team this house and get it done together. So I'm going to try and push the baby's appointment back until tomorrow. So anyway... I'll check back in with y'all when probably when I get to Starbucks. Okay, so the shopping is done and I'm back in the car putting in my order for Starbucks. If you know, you know. I don't like talking to people, so I will put in my order in the app and then just go pick it up. I hate putting in my order at the drive thru. So anyway, I'm grabbing me some coffee. Um actually I'm gonna get a um a iced matcha latte with four pumps of vanilla syrup. I probably should be reducing the amount of syrup that I put in my matcha, but not today, maybe tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna grab some coffee for my husband too. He usually does like the caramel frappuccino, but then the last time I got, um, I got the ice um, white chocolate mocha, he liked it, so I'm gonna get him one of those. And then grab some egg bites, some um, kale and mushroom egg bites, and then the bacon and gruyere, gruyere? How do you say it? <laughs> bacon and gruyere egg bites. So we'll, we're going to do that. Let me go ahead and check out, and then I'm going to go pick it up because it's right around the corner. Okay. Order in. Let's go. Good morning. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm oh, awesome. Thank you for asking. What can we get started for you? I'm picking up a mobile order for Jamie. Jamie? Yes. The egg bites and the, the two drinks? Yes. All right. It's ready. Anything else for you? That's all. Thank you. We'll see you at the window, Jamie. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I kind of want to try their um, the grilled cheese sandwiches. It looks really good on the picture. But then, like, every time I go inside, y'all know y'all how they have, like, the food sitting out on display. It always look dry and nasty. And I know that those aren't fresh or anything, but I just, I don't know. It just always looks not that appealing. This lighting is horrible right here. Let me move my car. Is that better? Still horrible. I feel like I always start off my vlogs looking super busted. Like, every vlog, like, I look busted in the beginning. <sighs> but that's just how my week goes. Like, I mean, because I usually start my vlogs on a Tuesday. And then I end them on a Sunday. So, like, it ends on the weekend. And, of course, I'm going to look better on the weekend than I do during the week. Like, running around, dropping kids off at school. And, well, I don't usually drop the kids off at school. That's usually Oso's job. But, um yeah like during the week i always look busted and then like by the weekend i ain't gonna say i'll be looking like you know like a baddie or nothing but i definitely be looking <laughs> better than this <laughs> so i don't know i have to figure something out i'm gonna work on i don't know y'all know i'm still i'm still adjusting to having three kids my baby is still super young so like i'm still trying to get back to being me For Jamie? Yes. Here's the ice cream mocha. Do you need a straw for the matcha? No, thank you. There's okay. that. Thank and you. Your egg bites. Thank you. Do you guys have sriracha? Yes. You want one or two? Two, please. You thank go. you so much. Thank have you. a good day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Why y'all ain't telling me the sriracha was so good? Like, what? Now, I can't eat my egg bites without sriracha. I didn't even know they had sriracha at Starbucks. 
You're not in the view. And yeah, I'm recording. I also know how to edit. Come taste these egg bites. Oh, hey, what's going on? Gray? No, brown. You do the gray. Earthy ass shit. <laughs> Which one you want? Or you want to sw swap out? I got the uh, kale yeah, and mushroom. Yeah, I got the kale and mushroom and then the bacon and... How do you say it? Is it Gruyere? Gruyere? The cheese. Wait, you never heard of Gruyere? I don't want it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> well, that's great for now, so I'm like, let me see that one. That one looks better. Is that the Gruyere? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that one. Give me one of them and you do one of them. You'll see. Probably coming back with the Gruyere. Wow. You want sriracha? I don't think so. It's good. Taste a little bit. I always have to make him taste the. He like the kids. No, I'm not. Yes, <laughs> you is. Yeah, like me. If you don't know, you literally just said, "If I don't know how to pronounce it, I ain't eating it." Mm -mm. If you don't know what something is, if you've never had it before, you're not gonna eat it. I know she make me. And I always make you, and then you love it. You wouldn't even had that drink. You, who had that drink first? The the white chocolate mocha. You, I'm gonna stop that Exactly. Oh, just let, yeah. me, let me taste the sriracha. I just washed my hands. <laughs> stop. Okay, which one is the grill? Yeah. And clean my palate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the one's gonna drop. Now she gotta clean your palate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, oh, something he don't want to be on camera. Since when? <sighs> okay. Let me show y'all what I got. Okay. <clears throat> I got the four pound bag of box. <laughs> the four pound box of crab legs. And they had these little bites. They were get one. <laughs> I can't talk today. What the hell is wrong with me? They were buy one, get one free. So I got two of these. The kids love them. I love them too. Actually, they're really good. Corn. And I got the extra sweet corn. That's the kind that I like. Shrimp. These are the shell on, but they have been de-veined. And then Eckridge smoked sausage. Eckridge is by far the best brand of sausage. And you get the skinless ones. And of course, for the butter sauce, you get some garlic. And I don't feel like taking out the bag, but an onion. And that's for the dipping sauce. The butter, the butter dipping sauce for when you do the seafood boil um, but anyway i already have some crawfish and i already have four pounds of crab legs so i'm just gonna add this to what i already have for the seafood boil i'm not sure when we're gonna do that probably either this weekend or next weekend but anyway so then i'm also gonna be doing the chicken tacos that i was telling y'all about let me show y'all well actually let me show y'all what i got first so i got there we go, soft shell flour tortillas Boneless, skinless chicken breast, a green pepper, a red pepper, red onion, cilantro, a peck of taco seasoning, sour cream, smoked serrano, and salsa. Um, this particular salsa, it is the Joe T. Garcia's. I'm not even sure. Th I haven't seen this until I... Let me say that again. <laughs> I never seen this until I moved to Texas, so I don't know if they sell this everywhere. But this is the most authentic tasting salsa that I've been able to find. Like it's the one that's more most similar to like the salsa that you would get like in a Mexican restaurant. So that's why I like this Cantina style chips. Yeah, I believe that that's everything for that dish. And then I also got some poppy so in case you guys cannot tell my new kick is the probiotic sodas they really do help with like your gut health so I got one in each flavor so this is the watermelon I have cherry limeade strawberry lemon 
ginger lime, orange, and raspberry rose. So I'm going to try those. I did say that I was going to let you guys know how the, um, the Olipop, I was going to let you guys know how the Olipop flavor once taste. Olipop brand <laughs> taste. Um, so I did get the classic grape, the tropical fruit punch, and the vanilla strawberry. And they were all actually really good. My favorite is probably the tropical punch. That's my favorite one. And for the recipe that I'm going to be making today, the um, the chicken tacos, it does call for cheese, but I already had some cheese. So I'm going to show you guys really quick the video that I watched. Taco Tuesday. So you know I had to make some pull apart chicken tacos. And y'all, these were banging. When I tell y'all these were so good, this is how I made them. First, I started by boiling my chicken breast and seasoning the water with chicken bouillon, garlic and herb, and white pepper. Then I shredded it once it was fully cooked. Next, I cut up some red pepper, green pepper, and red onion. And I sauteed them for about six to eight minutes. Then I added some crushed tomatoes, my shredded chicken, and one cup of water. Next, I added some Cajun seasoning, paprika, onion powder, and adobo. I tossed my flour tortilla in the sauce. And I added some shredded mozzarella cheese, my shredded chicken mix. I also added some more red onion and some cilantro. And I cooked them on both sides for one minute. Enjoy. So it looks really, really good. I am going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to do different seasonings. So like I showed you guys, I have the taco seasoning. I'm only going to do one pack of the taco seasoning because I couldn't find what I really wanted was the chicken taco seasoning but I couldn't find any so I just got like the regular taco seasoning and I'm just gonna do one pack of this and then I'll add my own seasoning to it oh yeah like I told you guys I'm gonna put it in the crock pot instead of boiling the chicken I just feel like it's gonna make it tough like I I don't it just I'm gonna do the um the crock pot instead hey y'all <laughs> Gotta jump in as <laughs> I'm recording. Um, okay, so I just wanted to check back in real quick because I'm not going to vlog the whole cooking process for this dinner because it's getting late and the kids have school in the morning, so I have to just hurry up and get them fed and in the bed. But I will show you guys the final product when I'm done. But I just wanted to show you. So my chicken is done and I cooked it in the crock pot, like I said, and it's nice and juicy and tender. And then I have the veggies cooking on the stove right now to cook down a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the, the crushed tomatoes. And then um, what I used to season my chicken with was, I'm not going to remember. Let me just come back over here so my seasoning happens. Okay, so I used white pepper, Mrs. Dash, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, adobo, chicken bullion. Oh, and then I used like half of the pack of the um the taco seasoning. And I believe that that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this finished. And then I'll go ahead. And, oh, yeah. And then the cheese. Sorry, I forgot to tell you what kind of cheese I use. Because she used mozzarella cheese. And I just don't believe in using mozzarella cheese on tacos. So... I did use Monterey Jack for the cheese and then we got a, um, a block of cheese and shredded it fresh. So it melts down better instead of buying like the actual shredded cheese. Uh oh, my bad. Um, and then for my sauce, I am going to mix this smoked serrano with some sour cream and that'll be our dipping sauce. And then we're gonna have the chips and salsa on the side. Okay, so this is what the final product looks like. It looks amazing. The kids already ate theirs. They said that they loved it. And as you can see, their table is messy. <laughs> but they ate their food already, so. Hey y'all, happy Sunday fun day. Say hi kids. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Gram squad, glam squad. Glam. It's a bug. That's not a bug. Oh. I, I thought I wanted a bug. <laughs> anyway, y'all pray for me. I'm about to take these kids skating today, and I'm by myself. So little Dolo out here with. Hi. 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 H
How many kids? Four kids. Fatty's sick, so he's gonna stay at home um, with Oso, and then of course the baby's gonna stay at home too. But I'm gonna take these kids skating by myself, and don't none of them know how to skate. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to vlog. I did just wanna pop on real quick because I haven't seen y'all since Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, since Tuesday, since I started the vlog. Um, but we just. I'll turn the AC on. That's better. Turn the uh the thing so find y'all vents. These find the vent and turn them towards you so it cool you off. Turn the TV on. Yeah, turn the TV. So anyway, um, we are about to go skating. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to vlog just because it's me by myself. <laughs> it depends on how these kids act and how busy this roller uh rink is. I will check in with y'all in a little yeah. bit. <laughs> You don't have to let go and get over there. Betty, you got it. Good job, honey. Look at Zayden. Zayden is gone. Zayden probably don't even need the thing. Look at this, y'all. My nephew said, I don't want that plastic thing no more. Go, Zay. Look at Royalty. Royalty got it now. <laughs> Go ahead, big man. <laughs> yeah, he's trying his hardest to get to the Sha Sha slide line. Hey, y'all want some good The royalty, let go of her thing. You gonna make her fall? Okay, so what y'all think? Do we have fun skating? Yeah. Y'all wanna do that? Wait, Tiana, what you say? She said yes. Oh, okay. Do y'all wanna go again? Yes. 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 Tiana said no. Yes. You wanna go again? Yes. Okay, we're not gonna go again today, but we're gonna go again another day, okay? Yes. Yeah. So right now we're gonna go get pizza. Yay. And then go to the house and make root beer floats. Y'all want root beer yes, floats again? Yes, yeah. <laughs> All right. We just got back from the skating. We just got back from the skating. That's the ride. <laughs> hey, Vlog, well, we just got back from the skating. <laughs> Hi, Vlog. Hi, Vlog. Hey, yeah. All right, say, see y'all. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all later. I'll I'll check check back in later. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. I am on my way to take the baby to her four month checkup, even though I'm super late. Like, she's almost five months old. By the way, today is Tuesday. <laughs> so, I actually had to stretch this vlog way out because of the fact that, like, I didn't really vlog at all last week. Like, I only vlogged for two days, and I was just like, I'm not gonna put this vlog up with two days worth of footage. So, I'm gonna stretch it out until this Sunday. So, y'all actually gonna get two weeks of work of content. We're on our way there now early. We're trying to get there early because we, I have a meeting at 10 o'clock and her appointment was at 9.45 and because we already rescheduled her appointment twice, I didn't want to reschedule it again and push it back even further. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, try to get seen early. They did tell me that I can come in up to an hour early um, so that I don't have to reschedule. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. All right, so anyway, I'm super excited for this week. Um, we have a date night on Saturday, me and the hubby. So we're gonna go to Kitchen and Cocktails. I told y'all I was gonna do a repeat. 
but um we're gonna do kitchen and cocktails and then after that we're gonna do sweet tooth hotel and then my brother's birthday is on tuesday so we're trying to figure out like because he wants to go out on saturday too but it's just the guys like i'm not invited <laughs> so we're trying to figure out like how we can work this out to where me also can do our date night and then he can also go with my brother for his birthday oh and then on sunday um we started a little new tradition or whatever where we all watch a movie in our bed on sunday so all the kids all 30 kids in our room sunday morning watch a movie and then we're gonna have breakfast too so i'm gonna do this little breakfast charcuterie board sort of set up and then we'll watch a movie um this week we're, we're gonna watch yesterday so we actually started it last week but it was the first time we did it so i didn't vlog it at all and it was actually kind of like spur of the moment sort of thing like it wasn't really planned out or anything so we didn't have our breakfast or anything we just laid in the bed and watched the movie together and i was like you know what we should start doing this on a regular basis because i used to actually watch movies with my kids every friday but then we stopped doing it because my mom started coming over to my house every friday when i was pregnant with the baby and then like once a month she'll stay the night with me but because our fridays ended up being me and my mom watching like a show on netflix and stuff like that i stopped doing the movies with my kids so i've been trying to figure out like when can we do it you know trying to figure something else out because i didn't want to just completely stop it because i actually liked doing the movie day so um since we did it last week on sunday i'm like i just thought about it, like i like i usually do like my whole sunday cleanup routine and you know cook dinner and all of that stuff but i'm like sunday mornings i don't really do anything like i wake up on sunday mornings and i lay in the bed probably till like 10 11 o'clock like you know what i mean like we always have like a slow start on on sunday mornings so i'm like this is something that we can do on sunday mornings because we're just laying in the bed anyway so pop a movie in when well, i pop a movie in but you know what i mean turn a movie on netflix that's gonna be like our new little tradition and stuff she did so good she wasn't crying but we're right here by her doctor's office now so we are back from the doctor's office and the baby's sleeping right now um, so I just wanted to pop in and show y'all what I just got because while I was out I got an alert saying that my order that I had put in at Shein um, for the outfit that I'm gonna wear to our date night it came in and then I had also ordered um, like the starter packet from Curology because I'm gonna try them out to see if I can get my skin back together because like after I had the baby I had like really bad hyperpigmentation like um I think I had talked about it before but like some women get this thing called the mask of pregnancy and you get like like dark like dark and it goes like around your eyes and like around your mouth and stuff and I had that really bad and I get it with all like when I get pregnancy I had it with all three of my pregnancies like especially towards the end of the pregnancy and for me it was like my face my neck and like my whole torso like even my stomach was like really really dark and anyway so i'm still trying to get my skin under control like on my face um so with the doctor's appointment everything went everything went well i was just realizing this is not my whole order i'm gonna be so mad if I don't get my clothes before my date this is only one thing anyway so the doctor's um appointment went really well um the baby is huge she's not even five months old yet and my baby weighs 20 pounds 20 pounds okay so um my niece was saying that like her daughter <laughs> she's almost three years old and she weighs like 25 pounds my baby is not even five months old and she weighs 20 pounds just to put that into perspective so i got these jeans um from shein and these, i'm gonna try these on later but this is not what i was wearing to um on our date night i had a completely different outfit that i was gonna wear to our day night this is what i was gonna wear to brunch like we have a brunch coming up in a couple weeks yeah it's in two weeks we have a brunch coming up in a couple of weeks um all the ladies are gonna go out to lunch and these are the shorts that i was gonna wear under my t-shirt dress so 
now I'm disappointed. I wanted to open this with y'all, but like I'm so disappointed because I thought that was my outfit that I was gonna wear on my date night. Anyway, um, also I didn't even like get to like really recap like when we took when I took the kids skating and stuff. So that was Tiana's first time skating, and the girls had been skating before. Um, my nephew had never been skating. So he did really good. Like I had rented the little plastic balance stand, whatever, for him to skate on, to skate with. Since he's so little, like he's only four years old, and it was his first time skating, so I figured he was gonna need some extra help. That dude came up to me like <laughs> after like um, we was there for like an hour. He was like, "Tt, I don't need this no more." And he gave me the thing, and he was like, "I want to skate by myself." And like I showed y'all, like he was skating by himself. He did so good. But like Tiana, she is like. I don't know like she's really scared to be embarrassed like put it that way like she's she was the only kid who didn't fall the whole time we was there like everybody else that was falling all over the place and getting back up and skating again and stuff like that like Tiana held on to the wall the entire time like <laughs> so <laughs> she was like really scared to fall so I, I just had to talk with her and I was just like you know we're gonna have to work on this summer like you getting over some of your fears because I don't want her to like look back on life and be like oh I missed out on doing this I haven't like doing this activity being involved in this and that because I was scared like or I was worried about being embarrassed and stuff like that so um, this summer we're probably just gonna like work on her over overcoming like a few of her fears so this was one of them um originally she didn't even want to go skating because she was like i'm like what if i fall like i'm scared to fall yeah we're gonna work on that another thing was um they had cheerleading this year at her school and i told her that she should try out because like she used to do gymnastics back in the day and well before covid i should say she used to do gymnastics and then after covid hit we stopped doing gymnastics and then we never got back into it because like once stuff started like once we started getting comfortable like our with our post covid life i ended up getting pregnant so y'all yeah, know how my pregnancy went like i was really sick all the time and stuff like that so I didn't put her back into gymnastics but then like this school year her school offered um cheerleading and I was like do you want to try out and she was like no because I don't want to do flips I don't know well I don't know how to do flips I can't do the splits um I'm scared to go up in the air like I'm not going to be doing all of that stuff whatever so I'm just like well you don't have to do those things like my niece she did cheerleading like all throughout high school and I think she started in junior high so I was like you could let's call her you know because I know she didn't do that stuff either whatever and she talked to her she was like yeah I didn't know how to do the splits either I didn't I never learned how to flip and like I was I didn't ever have to go like on the top of the pyramid or anything like that like you can still cheer even if you don't know how to do any of those things and she was still like no I'm not doing it because I don't want to get up in front of people like at the pep pep rallies and stuff because the cheerleaders have to perform at the pep rallies she was like I don't want to do that and so yeah so I don't want her to look back on life and be like oh I missed out on so much stuff because I was scared to try it so not the point of what I would came here on, came on here for so um this is the box but it looks like this and then my kit comes in this little package and then I got this too I don't even know what this is let me see what is this oh this is the lip balm this is the vanilla one how do you get it out oh oh that's cute okay so it's closed like this can you see it focus 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 okay so it's closed like this and then you just pull this thing back and then it pops out and closes back up that's cute so it came with a vanilla lip balm well actually I think I picked the flavor or scent or whatever and I picked the vanilla and then this is my skincare stuff I guess so this is the face wash no this is not the face wash this is the I guess this is like the specialized um how does it come out oh it's like a cream okay it doesn't no, I don't think it has a fragrance or anything like that. What it has in it. 
So this is my specialized formula that I'm supposed to apply nightly. This is just their um, free trial kit. So you just fill out like the little questionnaire thing or whatever and then they'll specialize like a formula based on your skin type and everything and they'll send it to you. So this is the moisturizer. And these are spot treatment patches. And then this is the cleanser. So I'm gonna try this out, see how it works. I just started out with the free starter pack. So basically you sign up for it, you do the questionnaire and they'll send you your first 30 days worth of supplies for free. You just have to pay for the shipping. The shipping is like $5.99. If it works, if I see any sort of, sort of improvement or anything like that, then I'll go ahead and I'll sign up for it. But I just wanted to try it out first to see how it works for my skin. I was going to film some content today. Like I've been trying to get this video done. I don't think I'm gonna get it done today. I think what I'm gonna do today is just go ahead and get this house cleaned up and then I do have another video. It's like correlates with Mother's Day. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that video so I can get it up since Mother's Day is coming soon. And then I'm just gonna get this house cleaned up. Cause my morning got thrown off y'all. Like I was trying to get some breakfast before I came back to the house after I left the doctor's appointment. First of all, let's just start by saying that I tried to get to the doctor's appointment early. Time management is not my forte. I tried to get to the doctor an hour early, ended up only getting there like 20 minutes early. So I basically was on time. So I still ended up being in the doctor's office at 10 o'clock during the meeting. So I ended up having to have the meeting in the doctor's office, but luckily it was like, after the doctor had already seen the baby and before the nurse came in to give her her vaccinations. So it ended up working out with the appointment. So I tried to get something to eat after I left the doctor's office. I was so frustrated y'all. So Taco Bell has this Cinnabon iced coffee or whatever. So I wanted to get that. I don't know why I had a taste for that. So I go to Taco Bell, pass up a McDonald's on the way to Taco Bell because I was trying to decide if I wanted Taco Bell or McDonald's. Past McDonald's, go to Taco Bell. They're like, oh, we're not serving breakfast anymore. So I'm just like, okay, fine. I really don't want to eat tacos at 11 o'clock in the morning. So I was like, well, can I still get a coffee? They were like, we don't have coffee right now. So I'm just like, came over here for nothing. So I'm just like, oh, okay. It's a McDonald's right across the street. So I go to the McDonald's over there. When I get there, they have the breakfast menu up still. So I'm just like, can I get the number four or whatever? She's like the filet of fish. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, I want breakfast. She was like, oh, we're serving lunch. And I'm just like, well, the breakfast menu was still up. And she was like, yeah, it takes a while for it to um, like turn off or whatever. And it was like 10.59. So I thought that they stopped serving breakfast at 11 o'clock. So I was just like, oh, okay. Um, I, but I'm not really sure what to order because y'all lunch menu was not up here yet. I'm like, I'm, I don't even really know what I wanted because I came there for breakfast. So then she was like, oh, well, I can't, I can't get it to update. You have, it, it's just going to take a while. So I'm just like, well, when did y'all stop serving breakfast? She's like 1030. I'm like, well, it's damn near 11 o'clock. Like, why is the breakfast menu still up and y'all been serving lunch for 30 minutes? But anyway, I digress. So... I'm like, well, let me park, figure out what I want. So I sit in their parking lot for like another 10 minutes trying to put in my order in the app. The app is tweaking. Like I can't put in my order for whatever reason. So I'm just like, all right, forget it. I'm just going to use the little coupon or whatever. Because really, I just wanted some coffee. That's that's really what I wanted. Figure out what coffee I want. They had a coupon for it. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to use the coupon from the app. I'm not going to try and put in my order because it kept, like I said, it kept glitching or whatever. So I go to the drive through and I give her the code for the coupon. She's like, okay, go ahead with your order. I start ordering my food and then when I, when I start telling her what sort of coffee I wanted, she's like, I'm sorry, we don't have coffee. Our machine is broken. Your machine is broken. Your coffee machine is broken. I know your ice cream machine be breaking all the time, but y'all coffee machine is broken too. So I'm just like, all right, whatever. So I'm like, just cancel the whole order. Cause the whole reason why I came to McDonald's, not because I wanted their food, I wanted coffee. So I'm just like, all right, forget it. I'm just gonna go to Starbucks. That's why I should have went in the first place, but I didn't want Starbucks food. Like I wanted coffee, but I didn't want their food. Does that make sense? Like, cause I know I wanted, I, I for sure wanted coffee, but if I was, but I was hungry too, but I didn't want the food at Starbucks. Like I would prefer the food at McDonald's. So I'm just like, okay, forget it. Just cancel the whole order. So then I end up going to Starbucks anyway and getting a breakfast sandwich. 
But I was annoyed because I'm just like, I'd have been to three different restaurants trying to get some coffee and some food. And it shouldn't be that difficult. Um, I guess I'm about to track my order for Shins to try and figure out where the heck the rest of my order is. And hopefully it gets here before Saturday because I'm going to be pissed if I don't have my day night outfit. Oh, I did get my wig though. Let me go show y'all my wig. Hold on. Okay, so I got this wig from Amazon and this is my first time opening it. So I haven't seen what it looks like yet. It's supposed to be a bob. I didn't want like the traditional bob. Like I want it when it's a little bit longer and I can curl it. Let's see what what we got here. Okay, just care instructions. A wig cap and a headband. Let me look at this thing. Let me see what this look like with my little edges. Y'all know I'm still bald headed. My hair is still growing back from my postpartum shedding. How do you do that? Switch play. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> this looks real childish. All right. So here's the wig. I got the 12 inch. That looks real short. I don't know if this is gonna be long enough. Ooh. And it doesn't look full enough either. Like the look that I was going for, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off with this wig. And this part is real shallow. I might want my money back. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe possibly. It's not full enough. Like the front is like real thin, real thin. And I need it to be like real full in the front. I don't know. I mean, I might be able to pull it off. It's just not what I thought it was gonna be. We shall see. Let me try to put it on real quick. I'm gonna have to cut this lace off. Let me just pull the lace up real quick. With this TV behind me, it's hard to see. Let me turn it a little bit, okay. It's not what I thought it was gonna be, y'all. This part is killing me. Like, I only get this much parting space. Let me pull the lace down. This is all the parting space that I get. I can make that work, but I wanted a deep part. Like I wanted a deep part and have it come around like this so I can bring a lot of it forward. You got know what I mean? I don't know, child. Listen, we're gonna have to work it out. It's gonna have to work because at this point, I don't have time to switch it up and get anything else. This wig was how much? Oh, okay. So it was $54. It wasn't $70. The 14 inch is $70, but I got the 12 inch. Okay. Now I'm thinking maybe I should have got the longer one because then I'd be able to. So this is the picture. So that's what it was supposed to look like. And I also think that their wig is the 14 inch and not the 12 inch because it seems to come down a little bit longer. Also, the wig is not done yet. So I do take that into consideration. However, their wig definitely looks fuller in the front. And I know that these pictures are like inspo pics. Like this is not the actual wig that you're getting. This is like the inspiration for the wig that you're buying, but I definitely feel like it should be fuller in the front. Like, I'm not happy with it. Let me get this off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this house cleaned up, get this video edited, and then I will probably see you guys either tomorrow or sometime this weekend. Okay, so. <sighs> I'm talking quiet because the baby was just stirring and I really don't wanna wake her up. But I have to come back on here real quick because my fourth game, yeah, so excited. Um, so when I went back on 
to like when I look back on Shein to um, track my order, it actually said that it was delivered, and I was just like, no, it didn't. Like I got one item, I didn't get my whole order. So I looked, and they actually shipped. Shh, this dog always trying to wake up my baby. Cash, come here. Cash, come here. Come here. Lay down. You hush your mouth. Your sister sleep. So yes, yeah, so I was looking at my um, tracking information and there were actually two tracking numbers. They shipped them separately. So um, it was saying that both of them were shown as delivered. And I was like, well, I just checked the mailbox. Only got one thing. But then it said that it was delivered at the door. So I checked my ring activity and sure enough, it had got delivered after I had came back from the doctor's office. So it's, it's been sitting outside. So when I was talking all that stuff about my order didn't come in and I'd be so mad and all this stuff, it was sitting on my front door the whole time. And my good for nothing dog didn't even bark or anything when the guy came. But now she want to bark. And my baby sleep. So, so I'm going to show y'all, since I already showed y'all the shorts, I'm just going to show y'all the t-shirt dress that. I'm going to be wearing at the brunch in a couple of weeks with the ladies. So I got this in a size medium. Uh -oh. What? You can't see the pain and madness you can't describe. I don't know this shirt. These shirts be having some crazy stuff on it. I don't know what the heck this shirt says. I got it for the look, not for what it says. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna wear the t-shirt dress. I'm gonna wear those blue jean shorts underneath it, and then I'm gonna wear some thigh-high boots. That's for the brunch next week. Not is it next week? So not this weekend, but next weekend. And then this is what I'm wearing on my date night. So I got this shirt. It is a half shirt. I'm not gonna try anything on because you guys are gonna see it when I wear it um, on my date. And then I got these shorts to go with it. So it actually looks like a skirt, but it actually has shorts underneath. So it just kinda looks like a tennis skirt sort of deal with the ruffles this is the bag that I got and it's got kind of like this snakes alligator skin not snake skin this sort of alligator skin vibe to it this is a dupe for some if y'all know what bag it is leave it in the comments because I know that it's like a high-end bag that it's like a dupe for but I cannot for the life of me think of what it is right now and then the shoes that I'm gonna wear. And I really hope that this goes with the vibe. But it's got like the feathers and it like ties up your leg. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing on our date night. I'm really excited about it. <sighs> All right, so let me get this house cleaned up now. Oh, and then like the other thing that I've been doing is having my kids do like a 15 minute cleanup because usually, you know, we get through the week. It's always like the hustle and bustle of getting them up, getting them to school, coming home, doing homework, maybe having a snack or something, taking showers, getting ready for bed, having dinner. So they don't really have a whole lot of downtime during, during the week. So what I started doing was having them do like a 15 minute cleanup on their room because I mean, anybody can find 15 minutes out of the day. So I'm having them do just like a quick 15 minute cleanup because what I used to do was just have them clean up on the weekends. And I'm just like, nope, you're going to be in your room. You can't come out. You can't do nothing. Can't have fun until you get this room clean. But it's just it's it's stressful doing that because on the weekends I'm trying to get my house cleaned up and I'm trying to do other stuff too. And then plus I'm always wanting to do different activities with them or have a girls' day or go on a date or you know with my husband or something like that. Like it's always something to do on the weekends. It's never really like a chill 
weekend where we can just sit in the house and get the house cleaned up, whatever. So I've just been doing like 15 minute cleanups. I do it for myself too, but specifically with the kids, like during the like during the weekday, I just have them go in the room and it's like, okay, I'm gonna set a timer and clean as much as you can in 15 minutes. And then once the 15 minutes is up, whether their room is fully cleaned or not, then they're done. You know what I'm saying? And if their room is already clean, then they can do more of like a deeper clean, like dusting and organizing and stuff like that. And they'll do that every day for 15 minutes. So that's what I'm starting to do with my kids to keep their rooms clean because they've been looking at me. Good mess. morning, guys. It is super early. I'm trying to get the kids ready. Oh my God, it's so dark. I'm trying to get the kids ready and up, um, out of the door for school. <sighs> old uniforms that they can't fit anymore that I'm going to donate to the school um I gotta write you a sick note hmm? I gotta write you a sick note for me what's today how do you spell attendance who was it yesterday? Oh, oh it's Monday. What's yeah. today? Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, Lord. work. <laughs> I'm so like, what? <sighs> All right, oh, no. Shoot, we have. We're supposed to be. <laughs> we were supposed to be leaving two minutes ago. I don't uh, is it Maurice a or was out. It's a giraffe. Sick. E Monday. The e, this pen is going out. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Stop touching all of her stuff, please. All right, Fetty, put this in your backpack, please. Are you going to take that to the front office? Yes. But oh, shoot. What am I just doing? <laughs> no, no, why, oh why didn't you just give it to you? You have to take your note to the front office. This is why I don't take the kids to school anymore because I have mom brain and this does not work for me. <laughs> Cash, you're going to stay here with daddy. Okay. We need mash in the fix. Go grab the mask. We need mash in the car because I don't need any more masking. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so I just dropped the kids off at school and now I'm over here at Walmart. About to go in here and just grab a couple of things for the house. I need to look at my cart and figure out what I need to get from in here. Because like I was telling y'all, I'm going to do like this little breakfast charcuterie on Sunday while we watch our movie. But anyway, um, so I got to see Fatty's kindergarten teacher. Wait, no, not his kindergarten teacher. It was his pre-K-4 teacher. She ended up leaving the school and going to another school, and then she came back here. So this is my first time seeing her since she came back. She was just, like, all excited, like, hey, Miss Ward. And she's like, you know, I heard, I heard you just had a new baby and everything. Um, I dropped off the clothes that I was going to donate. And, like, when I went to the front office, it was, like, a bunch of police there. I don't have no idea what was going on, but everybody seemed calm and like everything was okay so i was just like like i hope everything's fine i don't know so y'all know yesterday that the baby had a doctor's appointment or whatever and i can't even remember if i told y'all or not but okay so she'll be five months old in one day so tomorrow she'll be five months old and my baby weighs 20 pounds almost 21 she's like 20.8 one pounds or something like that or whatever so she she weighs close to 21 pounds at five months old so um i had posted on facebook or whatever and i was just saying like you know this is what a you know 20 pound four month old looks like because she's still four months technically and like i don't think that this person meant any harm or whatever like i think that they were probably just like looking out for me or whatever so i didn't take it offensively or anything like that but they were just like she's adorable but stop putting all that weight on that baby it's gonna hurt her later and i'm just like <laughs> first of all let me be clear like my baby is exclusively breastfed like she does not get cereal she does not get baby food she doesn't get anything she doesn't get formula she she doesn't get anything except for breast milk so there's nothing in her diet that i can change up to make her not gain weight so much the, the only thing in her diet is breast milk you know what i mean 
it's just something about my breast milk in particular that makes my babies blow up really really big and then when they get older they slim down I mean fatty's nickname is fatty because he was fat when he was a baby I mean his nickname was fatty daddy Tiana was also super duper chunky when she was a baby so is nothing that I'm doing that is causing them to be really big and also um like they're gonna slim down like Tiana is skinny fatty he's like normal weight so it's like it's nothing that needs to change up that I'm doing or in anything that's in their diet that needs to be switched up or anything to make them stop gaining weight so much it's perfectly normal her I, like I said she went to the doctor yesterday she's perfectly healthy her doctor hasn't said anything about her weight or her being concerned about it or anything like that her doctor knows that she's exclusively breastfed and I'm not overfeeding her she eats every three hours um not necessarily on a schedule it's more so just like on demand feeding but she doesn't show signs of hunger until about three hours after the last time she's eaten so she eats on average every three hours so yeah i said all of that to say this um like i like i said i know that the person who said it didn't mean any harm and i didn't take any offense to it or anything like that but i do want to just kind of address the fact that like um moms already have a lot of guilt for things that are outside of their control that that they have to do the example that I can give is like moms having to go back to work is it better if you could be there with your baby 24 7 because that's what your baby wants of course but we all live in a society where moms have to work you know what I mean and that's the reality of it and we already feel guilty enough for being away from our babies because we have to go to work and that's something that's outside of our control so when we're doing something that's actually good for the baby because there's nothing that I can give my baby that's better for her than breast milk then don't make us feel guilty about that you know what I mean and I don't know if she knows that like I exclusively breastfeed or anything like that but that's kind of part of it like be very very mindful and careful of like the things that you say to moms because we already carry enough guilt there's moms out there who deal with postpartum depression and you know everybody has mom guilt so it's like you just don't really know what you could say to somebody that could like set them off or set them over the edge you know what I mean or like make them really upset it, so just like be careful and like especially like in the black community like I, I breastfed three babies you know what I mean and I can honestly say that I didn't get a ton of support for breastfeeding from my family like not that people are like discouraging me from breastfeeding or anything like that but there's definitely comments that are made to me around me about me uh, regarding breastfeeding you know what I mean or even like just being made to feel uncomfortable like one time I was gonna go pump in the person's house that I was at because I said that I was going to pump mind you I was going to pump in private they didn't want me to say that I was going to pump because I guess it had to do with my breasts and it just made them feel uncomfortable and I'm just like that's weird you know what I mean like <laughs> I've had somebody close to me say I couldn't have something feeding off of me like the thought of something feeding off of me like that's gross to me you know and they were talking about their personal preference or whatever and I'm also like I'm not the type of person that's gonna like really go based off of something that somebody else is telling me like I'm gonna do what I feel is best for myself or for my for my kids specifically so like I didn't let that deter me or anything like that but it it could discourage a person who is not as strong will just placing unnecessary guilt on parents so that's all I wanted to talk about just because like that just happened yesterday and it just was kind of fresh on my mind you know this morning um because I was talking to Fatty's teacher you know and she was talking about the baby so that's how I ended up getting brought up again so anyway I just wanted to you know put a little reminder out there be kind tonight to new moms um not even if you're a first-time mom but just 
moms who have new babies their hormones are all, are all over the place we're typically more emotional you know what I mean and we're doing the absolute best that we can and just try your best to be more supportive instead of being critical especially if you don't know all the ins and outs of what they're dealing with you know what I'm saying all right so I am done with the shopping at Walmart I didn't get that much stuff I basically just grabbed some fruit for now um I was gonna get like some bagels and donuts and stuff like that or whatever but I think I want to wait until like Friday like Friday or Saturday to go get that stuff because y'all know how that stuff goes still really really fast so I want to make sure it's gonna be fresher because today is only Wednesday and I'm not doing the um charcuterie breakfast until Sunday so anyway um on my way right now to go get my pedicure and I'm gonna get my eyebrows arched too and then um I also wanted to update y'all to let y'all know that I did get a message from the school in regards to like the police president presence <laughs> the police presence at the school this morning and everything is okay um they said that there wasn't any safety concerns or anything like that i guess the police were just there like investigating something that happened so oh i only got three minutes of recording time left how is that anyway i am here at the nail shop but they don't open until 9 30. i thought they opened at nine o'clock it's 9 11 right now so I'm, i just called my husband and let him know that i'm gonna be home later than i originally thought so i can make sure that he still leaves on time for work but we should be okay still though but anyway i guess that means that i can talk to you guys a little bit longer even though my battery is about to die and i think i only have like three minutes of recording time left i don't even know what to talk about Good morning, y'all, and guess what day it is? It's day night. Well, it's actually really early. It's uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Oh, shoot, I need to charge my battery. Um, anyway, trying to get this, I'm trying to find some glue so I can do my nails. So, y'all seen that I went to the nail shop the other day and I just got my toes done. I didn't get my nails done, obviously. So, I have these pressed ons. I got these from Amazon. It just says um, Beautiful Nail, Nail Mina. It's just a French tip and it has like some diamonds on some of the nails. So I got my toes painted white. I didn't show y'all because it's just plain white nails or whatever. Um, the guy who did my nails, he did an okay job. I wasn't like super impressed by it or anything. I've never used these before. Y'all let me know. Like the girlies who do the press ons, let me know how these things work. These are like the little sticky pad things. Um, is it worth it to go through using these or should you just use like super glue? Mm -mm. Can y'all see that? It's like jacked up. Is it focusing? I can't tell wouldn't i recommend it's like the nails are messed up it's, it's almost like they have super glue on them or something not to mention the fact that they're super flimsy i won't be buying these again oh these are definitely like one-time use nails like for real for real they look like they've been worn already let me find out i don't got a set of used nails but no because it's not on the inside of the nails it's on the outside these are raggedy. I guess that'll work. Um, so I know like you're supposed to prep your nails and stuff before you. If I'm talking low, it's because the baby's sleep. Show you how to She's in her swing sleep. So trying not to wake her up. But anyway. So I know you're supposed to like prep your nails before you put these on like you're supposed to um like file like use this to file the top of your nail but I don't think I'm gonna do that because I don't want them on for more than a day like I'm gonna take these off like tomorrow I probably will push back my cuticles though so it, used, it came with this little thing to push back your cuticles so anyway i told y'all already that we were gonna go to kitchen and cocktails we do have reservations there for like 4 30. um we don't want to go super late 
and just because we just don't want to be out like really late or anything like that and then afterwards we might be going to um this place called sweet tooth hotel and it is like a block or two away from the restaurant that we're eating at i think i need some different super glue this stuff is like dried up usually the nails come with a thing of glue but this one didn't oh my god i'm so disappointed i don't think i'm gonna be buying this no more like i'm just gonna get mine from like target i just bought it. oh this has glue in it i just bought another set from target and this came with glue so i'm just gonna use the glue from this other kit and just in case you're curious it is the kiss bare but better and it's the medium length i got these from target oh yeah this one's good okay now which nail was i using <laughs> get it together girl get it together okay so like i was saying we're going to kitchen and cocktails and then we may or may not be going to um sweet tooth hotel afterwards it just depends on how late it is after we get done with eating dinner y'all know tomorrow morning it's going to be our family dinner and not dinner but our family um morning movie so we're gonna do that tomorrow morning i feel like the key to making the press ons look like you got your nails done is to push back your cuticles and kind of get them a little bit underneath your cuticle so you can see how it sits in there real good and it kind of looks like you got your nails done these nails though are like so freaking thin and flimsy they're like clear like you can see through them and it's not even it's not even like um you know how like sometimes like the natural nail look is supposed to be kind of see-through it's not even that it's just that it just looks really cheap oh and i forgot to push back my cuticle too oh my god i'm messing up i'm messing up this is why I don't talk and do other things at the same time because I can't freaking concentrate. I either can't concentrate on what I'm saying or I can't concentrate on what I'm doing. But I can't do two things at once. Okay, that's cool. I don't like it on the middle nail. What do y'all think? Should it go on the middle nail or on the pointer? It doesn't fit on the ring. So, um, I think I like it on the pointer better, but it's a little big on the pointer. I might have to file the sides down a little bit to make it fit. I did want to give you guys an update on how the kids are doing because I did talk about their little reward system that I had to try to get them to do the things that they need to do. So Fetty um, was having trouble with getting his work done at school. And then Tiana um, needed to be a little bit more independent with like doing things that she knows that she's supposed to do, things that she has to do every day. So basically taking her shower and washing her face every day without me having to tell her. Fetty has been doing really good in school. Um, he originally, like when I first started this little reward system, he was not passing his math class like he was doing well in all his other subjects um but i still was getting messages from his teachers saying that they were having trouble with getting him to focus and stuff like that so they had to do a lot of redirecting but he was getting the work done in his other classes but in his math class nah he wasn't doing nothing in math so he actually wasn't even passing his math class or whatever so since we started doing this he's actually brought his grade in math from an f all the way up to a b so he's doing extremely well in math class now all of his other grades are a's so he will be on the honor roll this year well not this <clears throat> not this year but this six week session because they um go by six week sessions so oh, i keep forgetting to push back my cuticle first see this, 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 this is what i'm talking about i don't talk and do other things because i can't concentrate um so he will be on the honor roll. He'll be on the AB honor roll. When we first started out the school year, he was on the A honor roll. But now he's on the AB honor roll. But I think that um, this last six week session, hopefully we'll be able to get him on the A honor roll. 
with our new system um he did get all the way up to fifty dollars with his prize but then he started all the way over again because i did get a message from his teacher they had a substitute and you know how kids act up when they have a substitute teacher so he was showing his tail when he had the substitute like he didn't need to keep following the rules so he ended up having to start all the way over and i talked to him about it and he's been doing better ever since then it has been working like i know that some people have the mindset of you know well, i'm not going to reward my kids for something that they're supposed to be doing because that's not how the real world works but honestly that's how the real wor world works i mean if you go to work every day you get there on time you do your job and you do it well you get promoted you know or you get a raise like you do get rewarded for doing the things that you're supposed to do in the real world if i did what i was supposed to do every day and didn't get absolutely any re reward not a thank you not a nothing like what's the motivation for me to do better you know and then I also like to to um do oh, I keep freaking the push back my cute no she's still sleeping um I also like to do parenting in a way that um if my kids are doing something that I don't want them to do to find like ways to to get the behavior out of them that I want them to have versus always doing like a punishment but even if i do a punishment it's gonna reflect like you know what they actually did wrong so like for example if he's acting up in school usually it's because he didn't get enough sleep the night before he's tired you know what i mean he's six years old and when six-year-olds don't get enough sleep they tend to act out so if you go to school and you start acting out because you're tired the next day you're going to bed an hour early because we're going to make sure this doesn't happen again you know what i mean so i always address the root of the issue or at least i try to i can't say i always do but i try to address the root of the issue it takes a little bit more thought process on the parents part but it definitely gets the desired effects you know what i'm saying so yeah just wanted to give you guys a little update to let you know that it is working um I don't have no um <laughs> I don't have no solution to keep them from arguing yet. <laughs> I guess the solution right now is to send their daddy upstairs. These shoulders went up there. Y'all can't see the stairs from here, but yeah, he showed us one up there because they upstairs are arguing with each other. <laughs> As I'm sitting here talking about how well they're doing. But whatever, that's normal. Kids argue with each other, especially at this age. Brothers and sisters, <coughs> they gonna argue. Let me get these nails on. And then after I get my nails on, then I'm gonna go do my shower. And before I go get in the shower, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Target and um like go over like what my little shower routine is gonna be for day night so i'll be right back clack 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 the bad bitch is back got my nails done let me actually show y'all so this is what they look like this one is a little crooked i think that the um nail that i ended up using is a little too big for i don't know they're both maybe my finger is crooked <gasps> i think my finger is crooked I think so. I think my finger is crooked because it's like that on both nails. Anyway, that's what they look like. Got the kids some new spin brushes. I gotta put those in their bathroom. So anyway, Dove has this new cherry scent and oh my god, it smells so good. Mm. It just smells like fresh cherries like oh my god it smells so good so anyway so i have the body wash and then i also have the scrub it's like really is it supposed to be like this it's like a um almost like a liquid i can't even turn it so y'all can see but like look it's like real watery I don't know how that's gonna work but um anyway so they also have like an exfoliating scrub it smells so good it smells exactly like the body wash too. 
So, okay, so it's an exfoliate, I mean, yeah, and it's, it's an exfoliating body polish. Okay, so I got that. Um, I'm going to be using, where's my phone? Oh, here it is. So I'm going to be using that with the um, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. So it's the Almond Bar Soap. So I've already been using it, that's why I don't have it down here. But in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like. And it's um, the bar soap and it's the almond scent. So if you know, you know, um, Jergens has the, their original scent is cherry almond. So I'll be using the Dr. Bronner's bar soap as my base soap. And then I'll be using the Dove moisturizing soap um, with the loofah. After, so of course, you when you do your first like your base wash, you use your towel for that, and then you go in with the moisturizing body wash with the loofah, and then you use the scrub, and then afterwards, I'll be moisturizing with the cherry almond. So you get the vibes like we're doing the whole layering scent thing, and then of course, because it's date night, I have to do the date night holy trinity, which is shower, shampoo, and shave. So I'll be doing that when I take my shower in a little bit. Anyway, dog's knocking on the door. I'm going to let her in before she wakes my baby. Oh, never mind. The baby's woke. Anyway, I'm going to go take my shower because her daddy is down here and he can watch her. And I'm about to go get showered and get started on my hair because I still have, like I showed you guys the wig that I bought. I still have to cut the lace and get the parting and all of that stuff right on that wig. So it's going to be a minute. So anyway, I'll see y'all when I'm done. Okay, so never mind my hair. I just took out my flat twist that I had in. Um, so anyway, I just realized that I forgot to update y'all about Tiana because I was talking about how Fatty was doing, but I never said like how Tiana was doing. So anyway, she's doing really good too. Um, she has been so she met her 10 day goal of taking a shower every day and washing her face without me having to say anything to her so she got her $20 reward and I took her to Walmart she just got like two outfits um just like two of those little five dollar matching sets and then she got this cup which is so cute it's like the Starbucks dupe at Walmart and it was only like seven dollars hey y'all day night vibes we just dropped the kids off on our way to the restaurant I don't think that we're gonna go to um, Sweet Tooth Hotel because I don't know. I just don't like being away from my babies, right? Yeah, we don't like being away from our kids. So um, we probably just gonna go back to my sister's house. Oh, also, it's my brother's birthday. So, well, his birthday was last week, but he celebrated today. So um, I think the guys are supposed to be trying to go out or something like that, but I'm not sure what they're doing because they I, I don't know if it's a secret or what but they ain't telling us <laughs> also don't even know what they got planned so I didn't even get to show you my outfit before I left um my hair didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted it to but I'm working with it um I think I have to just style this wig a couple more times to get it the way I want it to be and I also ran out of time y'all I started getting ready at like 10 a.m and our reservations weren't until 4 30 and i'm still behind schedule so i I'm, I'm coming to the realization that i just don't know how to manage my time and i need to work on that well let me take that back i'm not coming to the realization i already knew that but i'm coming to terms with the fact that i just don't know how to schedule my time and that's something i really need to work on so yeah, he was saying that like I had to feed the baby and everything too. So, um, but still though, that's a long time to try and get ready. I started getting ready at 10 o'clock and the rest of just is at 4.30. My man always trying to make excuses for me, but he know me. I'm gonna be late. If nothing else, I'm gonna be late. Um, get off on 20 East. Right here, Street Boy. So anyway, I might not vlog that much when we get to Kitchen and Cocktails because of the fact that I've already vlogged there. Um, y'all seen it? So if y'all wanna see what it looks like, 
go look at the vlog from when my best friend was in town. Um, what is the name of that vlog? I don't remember. Girls Night Out, something like that. So, um, yeah, just go back and look at that vlog. You'll be able to see what Kitchen and Cocktails looks like. I might vlog a little bit while we're in there, whatever. I do have to vlog a little bit because y'all didn't get to see my outfit. So, I'll show y'all what, what my outfit looks like and everything once we get out the car. Oh, also, an update on the nails. <laughs> These things keep popping off. So, I didn't lost on the way, like, trying to get ready today. I lost two nails and had to glue them back on and then my diamonds came off of this one it's supposed to look like this it's supposed to have a butterfly and then a whole line of rhinestones and they're popping off so i don't care they were super cheap i think these this set was probably like six dollars or something like that i didn't pay a whole lot for it and then um i really only want them to last for a day because it's not practical to have nails with these rhinestones on them my hair keeps getting caught on the um on the butterfly and then like i didn't even comb tiana's hair because i'm like i don't want her hair to get twisted up in my nails so i didn't even comb her hair didn't comb the baby's hair because i absolutely refuse to be pulling on my kids hair um and then also like it's hard for me to handle the baby because my nails are so long so it's just not practical for me stay on this until we get to 45 more um so it's just not practical for me to have long nails so this is not gonna work for me luckily my pinky did come off on this one and I was able to straighten out because y'all remember it was like this both my pinkies was crooked <laughs> so when this one came off I was able to put it back on and straighten it so it's not my finger that's crooked it was just the nail <laughs> So I got the peach douce this time. And then he got the mango margarita. So let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> like I got all douce. <laughs> Here. I didn't, that was all douce. Oh my God. It needs to be mixed up. I'm just trying his mango. That's really good. Ooh. Dang, you so drink it down. Look at it. You drink my god, damn. It's like it's all douce. Yeah, you are strong. How much did you drink? Just a little bit. You're still strong? Mm-hmm. You gotta go up. It's better now. I think I just had to, yeah, I think I just had to mix it up. My straw is too short. Why didn't give us half a straw? It's better, huh? Much better. It was like all douce. <laughs> it was like all douce at the time. Thank you. So this is the crab cake. Everything else I've 
I already tried. Like I already had the macaroni and cheese. I already, I already had the macaroni and cheese. I already had the yeah. I already had the black eyed peas, and all that stuff is good. So you all overcooked them a little bit. You threw sure some big ass cream in there. Probably just swelling up. Let me taste the chicken. Put the face in there. I know, right? I was, I was not gonna say anything, but it's definitely some feathers on here. That means good. Thank you. Oh, it's hot. One thing I absolutely love is my food is fresh and hot, especially fried food. That chicken is fresh, fresh. It just came off the grease. As far as the flavor goes, it could probably be seasoned a little bit better, but it's, okay. it's good. Anyway, that's all the vlogging I'm going to do. I'm going to spend some time with my man. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday at 7.56 to be exact, so almost 8 o'clock. And today is the day we're going to do our... Monday, not Monday. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Our morning movie. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this kitchen straightened up real quick so I can make our little breakfast charcuterie. So um anyway, last night was so fun, y'all. The food was amazing, and um we ended up not going to the Sweet Tooth Hotel. We ended up not going there, but um we just had dinner at Kitchen Cocktail and then Oh, dang, this light is horrible in here. I guess that's better. Is that better? I gotta put y'all down so I can clean the kitchen. So anyway, the, uh, the food was good. It ended up storming last night. So my husband didn't go out with my brother. He just, um, we just picked, picked the kids up and then came back to the house. Dang. This is not working. This is not working in my favor. So anyway, the movie we're watching today is um, Yes Day. It's on Netflix and it has, um, I think her name is Jenna Ortega. It's the girl who, who played Wednesday Adams um, in Wednesday on Netflix. It has her in it and Tiana loves her. So we're gonna watch that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these dishes loaded into the dishwasher and then I'm gonna um, show y'all how I do the little breakfast charcuterie board. Okay, so I got all the dishes loaded into the dishwasher, but I'm not gonna run it yet. Y'all can't see my face. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm not gonna run it yet because the, the dishwasher makes too much noise. But I did get these, this set of mixing bowls from Walmart. It's a set of, can you see that? It's a set of 10 mixing bowls and it was only $16. So I'm gonna be using these to like put the food and stuff in because the, the tray that I'm using is not technically a board, it's a tray. Oh, I was gonna wash, wipe the counters down. I'm sure looking like, why are the counters so dirty? I never did wipe the counters down. So let's do that first. But anyway, like I was saying, the um bowl, the tray that I'm gonna put the um food and stuff on, um, is a serving tray. Technically, it's it's not a board, so I just don't want the food sitting straight and directly in the tray. So um, I'm actually gonna use the board. I mean, not the board. What am I trying to say? The bowl. Yeah, I'm gonna use the bowls. Sometimes I need. <laughs> A Tiana in my life to remind me of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I gotta wash out all the bowls. Well, I think. Can you wash out the bowls for me, Tiana? Yes. So they're basically clean already. You just have to, um, like, you know, wipe them down in the soapy water and rinse them off just because you want to make sure that they're clean from like being in the factory and stuff like that. I don't want you to know dishes before they get washed. So I'm gonna wash down, wipe down the counters with this Clorox Sentiva, and it's the Pacific and Coconut 
Pacific Breeze and Coconut. Okay. It smells. I'm sorry. Can the camera. Uh, Tiana says it smells amazing. It does smell really good, though. If there's a word. Okay, so I'm just taking the bacon and I'm gonna bake it in the oven. I was gonna do it in the air fryer, but my husband did not clean the air fryer the last time he used it. So now I'm gonna have to spray it down and let it sit for a while. So instead, I'm just gonna, um, instead of the air fryer, I'm just gonna put it in the oven. And your husband is gonna watch this video, so you might as well edit that part out. I'm not. White boy something. Bad about I don't always talk bad about your daddy. Uh, the Christmas vlog you're talking about him. Oh, God. You see how daddy's girls be doing? Like, she always trying to rescue her daddy. Because I am his daughter. And I, you my daughter, too. Yeah. What about me? I'm rescuing you, too. Okay, so I'm going to cut the bacon in half because... Like with this charcuterie board, the whole point is for everything to be kind of like finger food. Because we're not going to have plates or anything. And also keep in mind that I'm going to be sitting on my bed eating with children. So I just want to make sure that like everything's going to be kind of easy to eat. So I'm going to cut the bacon in half before I cook it. Should I spray this pan? Let me see. I wonder if I should spray the pan so the bacon doesn't stick. It's gonna be super greasy, but it's gonna be greasy regardless. It's bacon. Yeah. I just don't want it to be like sticking to the pan and hard to get off. I never put bacon in the oven, so I don't know how this works. Stitch it up. Why can't you just put it on the pan? On stove. Cause I don't feel like doing that. I gotta um get everything else ready. It's gonna take too long. It's already. What time is it? It's already 8.41 minutes. It's since 8 o'clock. Bacon is in the oven. I'm going to get started on the bagels. So I'm probably just going to do like two of the everything bagels. Tiana's rinsing the fruit off, but she's naming each one as yes. she I'm goes. Trying to, I'm trying to get a Jimmy, but they keep bouncing up the thing. Mind you, it's a whole bag of grapes, and she's naming each one individually. But and okay. No juniors at all. When you said there was a, when you told me that I made two Sarahs, I uh, took that one out and gave you the name. So. Um, I don't think it matters. Thanks for that. So, uh, <laughs> JD, Lauren Senior, Lauren Junior, <laughs> Tiana. Danielle. Oh no, Tanea. Tanea. That's it. How do you forget about my baby? <laughs> Tanea. I be talking to her like every day. I don't know. Oh, this bacon in the oven looks good, y'all. I think I'm gonna start doing my bacon like this all the time. See, I always, I'm like, I've always looked at people who <laughs> cook their bacon in the oven like they lazy. <laughs> No shade if you cook your bacon in the oven on the regular. But I always was like, oh, you have to cook your bacon on the stove in order for it to be right. So I just didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. And I took the cream cheese out so it can start to get like room temperature. So it'd be easier for us to, um, to, I don't know, handle it, manage it, eat it, however you want to say it. Whatever word you want to use. Let's see. Tiana, just take the grapes off okay. the line and rinse them, please. Now Hurry you know, up. Then All then. the food is going to be done. You're still going to be sitting there naming the grapes. <laughs> it's on the grapes. It feels like... This boy is on the VR already. Fatty. Huh? You don't think it's a little early? For you yeah, to be gaming he's already? He's a gamer, okay? This is his lifestyle. Let's do wake up and game. Did you brush your teeth, son? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I guess while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cut up the banana. I probably should have gotten off food yesterday. Huh? Yeah. 
Um, we're gonna do a little breakfast in bed sort of thing. Breakfast in bed? Mm -hmm. While we were watching the movie. My God, I forgot. You forgot? No, oh, I cool. forgot. It was movie night. It's movie morning. It's oh, morning, morning. Yeah, it's morning. It said it's gonna snack. Please, I get it. Breakfast. Ready for our move. I can't wait. I can't wait either. I'm excited. <gasps> what? I put hot water on the top. Oh my god, on the strawberry again. Oh, they're not hot. Right. Oh. Look at that. I started seeing the film. Wait a minute. <laughs> they're so used to putting it on the hot side. Oh my god. Bacon bits. Bacon bits. Bacon bits. Bacon bits. Bacon bits. Bacon bits. I think I'm gonna leave it in there for a second so that it can stay oh. hot. No, so that it can stay oh. hot. I'm just gonna uh, crack the other door so it doesn't keep cooking. Huh? I was saying I'm gonna cut the stems off. Okay, so I'm gonna do the fruit in like big chunks instead of just kind of grabbing eat. You know? I didn't know you were over there. The grapes can stay like this. They, they can stay whole. Um, I'm gonna cut up the strawberries though, because we're probably gonna put the strawberries in our yogurt parfait, and then I'll put the bananas in the bowl. Yeah, let's take one. Strawberries right now are huge. So if you're a strawberry lover like me, go get you some. I just know around Mother's Day, I don't know what they put in strawberries, but every year around Mother's Day, the strawberries get real big. Okay, so this is the tray that I'm using. It's just a serving tray. I'm trying to make sure all of this stuff is done to fit. I don't think it's all gonna fit. You're gonna have to maybe put the fruit all in one bowl or something. Get us to Olaf. Olaf is our hamster. Okay, so this is what the. Fruit bowl looks like. Can I get a, get a little bite for you Sure. Okay, so the, this is the little honey jar. Ah, I'm not opening it now. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so this is the little honey jar that I got for us to drizzle the honey on top of our yogurt parfait. And I forgot to wash it. I'll and in case anybody's interested I got this from Amazon um I'll try to link it there were only three left when I bought this one so I don't know if it's even still available It looks so fancy. I got some granola. Penny books. I haven't had no in a long time. I know. People ask me what granola was, and I said, first? Amazing. No, second. I haven't had granola since I was in my old school, so probably seventh grade. Mm -hmm. It's guaranteed. Um, strawberry Shinobi. That's not how you say this. Chobani. <laughs> Chobani Greek yogurt strawberry. What the heck is Shinobi? Is that a thing? Oh. 
You look so good. I wish we had some plastic spoons, but um, yeah. I'm trying to reduce um, one-time use plastics, you know, do my part, helping the environment and whatnot. So I don't usually buy plastic spoons. Do we have some? We do get some sometimes from like restaurants because they give them to us. Like when we order takeout, they'll just include them in our, um, with our food. So we might have some because I just keep them out and throw them away. Have one. I have one in here from um, the ones that my mom and I bought over when they had their party. Okay. Maybe we have some golden ones because I did try some golden ones. We just need four. Somebody just go in the back. I think somebody just go in. Well, it would be nice if I could find four golden ones. It will look pretty. Look, I'm saying I don't buy plastics as I'm spooning my yogurt into a plastic cup. <laughs> so I'm just you we're gonna reuse these cups. It's not like we're these are one time use plastic cups, but we're gonna use them more than once. But y'all should have seen Tiana's face when she's when I picked these up at the store, she was like, Mom, why are you buying plastic? <laughs> I'm like, I know girl, I know. <laughs> okay. Yogurt check. Oh my god. Um this back in there. Oh, I was gonna do cream cheese. I was like, I knew I was about to do something. I was gonna do oh, cream cheese for the bagels. Cheese, I'm like, this. Well, then, remember. I just lost the nail. Oh well, I was gonna take these off anyway. You know, you didn't lose it. It's right there. It came off through what I'm saying, Tiana. I didn't mean I literally lost it. Like I don't know where it is. Y'all, my thumbnail is cracked in half. Can y'all see that? It's cracked in half. Is it what, Faye? Is that breakfast, Faye? Almost. Uh, Are you ready to eat, son? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll give you the gold. Ah! Stop touching stuff. I didn't put that in there. I just put it in there. Oh, I'm wondering if I should make like maybe put this in the microwave for a little bit to get it to room temperature. I was thinking of that too. You was thinking of that too? I think I would just put that in the microwave. Yeah. It's spreading it all over this. A little chef so. A little is not here. Cream cheese. Oh, why is this going to stick this in the microwave for... How long? 15 seconds? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know. Oh, it's got cream cheese all over. Okay, so I'm going to cut my bagels and some floors. Big kid, you bother me. When I was, um, when I gave all of the banana, he was going to ham on it. He was eating it? Mm -hmm. He woke? I put it next to him and then he smelt it, I guess. Oh. Uh, he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't. He closed his eyes right next to the banana and just ate the banana while he tried to fall asleep. <laughs> so for the people who don't know, we have a hamster and hamsters are nocturnal. So he would normally sleep during the day. That's why like he was woke. She put the banana in there. He woke up to eat it and he went right back to sleep. Ah, I just lost another nail. This is getting ridiculous. These nails ain't worth nothing. You lost like three nails by now, right? Yes. I remember you said you lost one yesterday. No, you lost one today this morning. Well, right now. I don't want the golden one. No, Tiana already coughed that one. Please, I don't want to hear y'all arguing over no dang on spoon. Plus for my birthday. Okay, fine. Okay. We'll get the black one. You can eat the grits from this one. Yeah. Alright, so my bagels. Cut into four. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Or no. 
are we gonna finagle this? It can go there. That works. Cool. We're you just gonna have to carry. Huh? You put them right here. It, it doesn't fit. The spoon, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to get a picture of this though. I don't want the spoons in there because they don't go with the aesthetic. What kind of the golden one? No, no. Um, what else do we need? We need the bacon. Is it still hot? A little bit. Not bad. Yeah. Okay, so the bacon came out. It looks great. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna pat it dry a little bit so that it doesn't get soggy. These pieces are soggy. The first two pieces came out real crispy. I think these were too close together. The bacon on the outside of the pan is like crispier than the bacon that was towards the inside of the pan. Isn't there supposed to be another piece of this? No, that's it. Oh. Can you plug it in up there so I can try oh, it off? Oh, because I was thinking of this. Yeah. That's why I couldn't find it. I'm like, okay, I, I saw this before. Like, where would I plug it? Did Just plug it in back there so I can put my camera on the charge before the battery dies. I'm going to get some of this grease off my bacon. And then I'm going to put it in one of these plastic cups. Battery died, but we're back. Okay, so the bacon is in the cup. Real cute. So we're gonna put that in there. We also have some mini donuts. And then I also have some muffins. I got the banana, banana chocolate chip muffins. I think I'm gonna put pop those in a microwave like real quick just to soften up the chocolate. And I'm probably gonna do how many muffins should we do? Like one? Because we have a lot of food here. Yeah. So we're just gonna do like one muffin and a couple of the donuts. Yeah, because we can cut the muffin into four so everybody can get some. I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for I don't know, 10 seconds, 12 seconds. Let's do 12. I don't know how I want to do these though. Like, okay, the muffins I can put in a little bowl. That's easy. Or, or, I think I have a cute idea. And that'll save room. I think we're just gonna stack them in a cup. Don't be there. Don't be there. Yep, Don't be that's what we're gonna do. Don't be there. Ow, he's leaving the bed. I'm losing a rhinestone. Let me just take that off. And sit that over there with my other nail. <laughs> Goodness, these nails are a disaster, y'all. It's okay. They did what they were supposed to do. They gave what they were supposed to give. Last night it was all for the look for date night and Junior, be careful. So we're just gonna stack the donuts in the cup. So I gotta take a picture of this real quick. 
So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna have to get a better angle, but I'm scared to take my camera off the um, charger right now because the battery's gonna die. And last but not least, we got the drinks. Um, ah, lost another nail. Where's my phone, son? I don't think Tiana went to go get it because I don't think she heard me. Can you go see if she's going to get it? I have such a mess to clean up in my kitchen right now. But I'm not going to worry about it until after we get done watching a movie. tragedy if I lost the nail in here while I'm doing this. How nasty would that be? <laughs> Maybe I should use the cup to scoop the ice out of here. Whoops, it's a good way to now. You got my phone? Did you get my phone? What do you mean? I had asked you to get my phone, but I don't think you heard me, so I didn't. I told Fatty to go get it, and Fatty came back here without my phone, and he was like, I think Tiana's going to get it, and I was like, I don't think Tiana's going to get it, because I don't think she heard me, which clearly didn't hear me. I, can't get my phone. I even told him, I even told him what do you mean, because he said, did you grab the phone? I was like, what do you mean? Did I He's irritating. Go get my phone, please. Anyway, I got apple juices for the kids, and I got ice Starbucks for for me. And also, we're gonna put these on ice to keep them cold. This is so cute, guys! I'm so excited. We're gonna do this every freaking weekend. Okay, I'm gonna risk it and take my camera off the charger really quick so y'all can see. Oh, look at it! So freaking cute. Oh my God, my phone was here this whole time. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> my phone was down here on the microwave. <laughs> What's so funny is I've been looking at my phone all morning for the time. Tiana, my phone was right here the whole time. Like, I swear, I don't know what's wrong with me. How did I forget about that? Because I kept looking at your phone right there. Shout. All right, babe, we'll be up there in a second. Okay, bye. Let me get a picture. It's so cute. Get out my picture. <laughs> Ooh, I almost dropped the phone. I swear, y'all, I'm a very intelligent person. <laughs> <laughs> you are, but. <laughs> but what? You're just not acting like you're right now. Get out my shot. Dang. Breakfast charcuterie. Okay. Mm, I would ask Faye to carry something, but do I trust? He's not gonna get it. Trust? You want me to trust you? Yes. I do trust you, son. Yes. But this is just a lot truly really heavy. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. Okay. And now everyone needs to be calm on the bed. Yeah. No sudden movements, guys. I know, but usually... We added it to the list, right? Yeah. So I can just go to it easily. Daddy, you want to eat it? Yeah, Daddy doesn't really eat breakfast. Do you? Yeah, I'm going to go back to the store tomorrow. Yeah. I said yes to everything. Oh, yeah. Right here. You want to watch my Girl? <laughs> Hold on. All right, guys. The movie morning was a hit. This was him, right? The food is gone. We smashed. And we didn't make too much of a mess. There's a little bit of crumbs in the bed, but. And napkins, but. This is not bad.
This was him, right? Yeah, I don't know who who was he. He's just somebody who worked at the school. His name was... He just popped up eavesdropping, eating. His Did we name? ever get his name in the movie? He uh, said he was a coach. I don't think he ever said that. <laughs> he said his name is Nat Faxon. Yeah, but that's but real. Is... No, 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 no. That's his real name. Mr. D. Yeah, he's okay. a coach, but don't know nothing about sports. So anyway, the movie was freaking hilarious. It was really good. Like me and my husband even was laughing at it and stuff. And um, the funniest person in the movie was some guy who just popped up. We don't even know his name or anything, but he was like the funniest person in the movie. Um, it was really cute. I, l I love the concept. Now, of course, my kids they want to do it yesterday, but absolutely not. <laughs> Um, no, ever. It won't ever, be that. Ever. It won't be as crazy as their yesterday. <laughs> Listen, they even shook her head, no. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day um, except for maybe getting some editing done. So, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and of course, like the video. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog.